Welcome to a new video in my Home Automation and Node-RED series. And today I'm going to review another Sonoff product. Uh, I've received this from ITED and it is called the Sonoff Micro. This is one of the new products. Uh, I believe this is already released. Uh, um, I got the first email probably a couple of months ago when this product was still in development. And the initial idea was that I get a review sample before it's getting released, but I think it's out now. To sum up this product in a single sentence, this is like a son of basic on a USB. What I mean by that, that it is designed to be plugged into a USB socket and it can switch that 5 volt USB power just like a son of basic does. So in the other sense, it's same as the son of basic, but it doesn't run on mains power. It just runs on 5 volts. And I have to admit, I'm struggling with this idea just a little bit because I can't really think of too many uh, use cases where I would rather switch the 5 volt uh, of the USB instead of you know, switching the entire USB power supply using just the Sonoff Basic or any of the other Sonoff products. When you look at the website, they are saying that you know, maybe you can use this device to turn off the charging of your mobile phone if you leave your phone on the charger overnight, then your phone is most probably going to be charged in two hours. So after that, you can disconnect the, the phone from the charger. But you should be able to disconnect the entire charger from the mains as well. Um, so yeah, in that respect, it doesn't make sense. Maybe if you have a, a charger which has multiple ports and then you also only want to disconnect one of the ports, then you can use a, a son of micro. But still, I don't think it's a big enough business case to warrant uh, you know, development of a new product. But uh, it's already here, so let's see how it works and uh, you know, how it looks like. As you can see, it's really small. You have a USB-A uh, Type-A plug on the bottom and you have a USB Type-A female connector on the top. And as you notice, the, uh, they are rotated by 90 degrees, most probably just to fit into this small package. So the idea is that you have, you connect this to your USB charger. For the time being, I'm going to just use this power bank. And then it will be able to switch that USB output to whatever device that you connected to it. And if you just wait for a short amount of time, you can see that the the solid blue light is going to come on so now it's just connected to my wi-fi network and i can also switch the output from here and the output state is going to be indicated by the red led due to its physical design if you are planning to use this in a um, in a strip or a mobile power bank which has multiple outputs you most probably not going to be able to use the adjacent output because you know because the physical size of the thing so I don't think I can I, I would be able to fit anything in here and I think it just limits the use of it in a in a multi-port uh, USB power bank unless you have like you know five or six ports so well two of them is going to be blocked but you can use the rest of them uh, without any issues and to demonstrate the use of it I'm just going to use this uh, USB light which I'm going to plug in. I mean, this is not the best product to use uh, to test this with because it has a separate uh, switch. So, I mean, now the output is powered so I can turn the light on. And of course it works. And if I want to turn it off, of course I can turn the light off, but I can turn off the, the son of micro as well. And the output gets disconnected. So, very simple. Before I move ahead, I just want to talk a little bit about the box. As you can see, it's a small product, but it comes also in a very small box. And one thing to note is uh, you are getting this uh, small quality check pass thingy. And also there is a very small user manual. Again, it comes in multiple languages. So the information here is really uh, limited, uh, mostly because of the, the various languages, but you have a QR code for the user manual. And yeah, that's the other side of it. Yep. But most importantly, you are also getting this one in the box. This is my first son of product, which has to be paired using a QR code. So initially, I mean, I didn't read the instruction. Usually I don't. So I was just clicking on this button for a long time to get into pairing mode. And I could get the, you know, the similar pattern, like the, uh, the flashing pattern activate. But when I gone into pairing, the quick pairing, nothing really happened and I started reading the instructions and I noticed this QR code. So you need to pair it uh, with your EVLink app 
by you know clicking on the plus button and clicking on the QR code pairing option in the app and then it would just get paired so yeah it didn't take a long time but because this is the first product that uses the QR code for me I thought it's important to mention just to look for this one and of course don't immediately discard the box uh, before you start pairing the device. Before we move ahead and look at this device in the EV-Link app, let me just show you something else. So this is a USB device which, if it's plugged into a QC-free uh, port, USB port, it can talk to the QC-free charger and, and switch the uh, output to 12 volts. And actually, let me just demonstrate it. So this has a QC-free charge output. And if I plug this in, of course, it's the other way around. And if we wait for a couple of seconds, uh, probably need to turn it on, then you can see that the, uh, the strip is illuminated. So it's outputting 12 volts and that can drive the LED strip. So let's just connect the micro the right way in. And let me connect this one. So that's the here whole setup. Actually, let me zoom out a little. Okay. And if I turn on the output, then what we see that nothing really happens. I mean, I can't decipher these lights, but that probably indicates that it's unable to switch to 12 volt. And if I connect it to a power meter, then most probably we are going to see the same. Now I need to swap this around. So we are getting five volt output. And if I want to connect to a QC3 charger, then as you can see, yeah, nothing really happens. And I think this is the other problem with this device because what it seems to be doing, it is really uh, appear to be switching the 5 volt from the USB port on the source uh, to the output, but it doesn't seem to be connecting the data lines. So which means that any fast charger which needs to con communicate to the charger to talk about the various voltage um, levels is not able to do that. So whatever device that you connect through the uh, son of micro it won't be able to use the fast charging uh, functions of your charger so again if you connect to a phone that is just going to charge on a normal charging speed as i said i'm struggling to find a use case for this device in the first place so if you have any ideas how you would use the son of micro as opposed to just switching the charger using a uh, son of basic just let me know in the comment section i've already done the pairing off camera and as you can see the micro i named this micro is added to my list of devices in the EV-Link app and I can control it from here so I can turn it off and I can turn it back on and then after I need to turn on the light manually but um, once I go into the app it looks just like a son of basic uh, so you have a big button just to control the device and we have a couple of options at the bottom as you can see it's it is missing one feature because we have the share so you can share the device with other users. You have the schedule, which is the scheduled on and off uh, time. So you can set uh, a day, a month, hour and a minute where this device needs to turn on. And because we have these new features, you can even specify if it needs to do it in every day or just certain days of the week. And you also have the timer functionality where you can manually set a, a a countdown timer so you manually turn the device on and then you say okay i want to start a 30 minute timer now and by the end of the timer i want to turn the device either on and off so let's say off so these are the things that you have to uh, schedule manually and on other devices we also have a loop timer here that is missing for the son of micro for some reason so you can't set up loop timers going into the features by the way if i click on this i then uh, you like information button then we just have some brand info coming up and if we go into the settings you have only two options so you can go into the settings or you can delete this device from your account so let's go into the settings the current firmware appears to be 3.4.0 and that's the latest one and even the settings page is uh, you know more sparsely populated than even the son of basics so we're missing some of the features that are available on many other devices for example the state indicator which i don't think it's a big deal but probably the other thing could be a more important to a certain use cases is the inching option so the automatic turn off feature of this device so that's not available here so pretty much the only thing you can get he do here is change the name and then look at the history and that's pretty much it 
And I have to admit there is not much else to be said about this device and how it works in the EVLink app. Of course I can set up the scenes and the, the device can be used in different scenes as well. So it can be used as a trigger device. So if I scroll down I can see the micro. So you can set up triggers when this micro gets turned on and off. And you can also use it in the action or the perform part of any uh, scene. Oops, sorry, not D1, the micro. And of course you can turn it on and off. There is no other features, but uh, I mean, it's a simple, you know, switch, ba uh, sort of basic type device. So you don't really expect anything else as well. So I think that would be all about the Sonoff Micro. I would be really interested on your ideas, how you can use this device. So if you have any good tips, just leave it in the comment section down below. But that would be all for now. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.